Oh, what's up guys? This is the Brokerman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we have finally started to hit the main Indian front lines. We're engaging this small force here, hoping to draw in uh, this Indian reinforcing army, which has got a lot of cavalry in it. And we have successfully done so. So let's get ready to engage. These are the only Indian forces west of the river. Um, but yeah, I think... We want to keep our momentum going, we need to keep taking out these Indian armies so that if there's any uh, more Mughal stacks hiding in the interior, they will deploy against us. I think that would be that'd be very worthwhile considering we have about six or seven stacks coming in to attack um, Calcutta. So we, we've pulled back from that attack for now just to wait for more reinforcements because we really need the strength not just to take Calcutta but the force to break out afterwards. Ideally, that's what we want. So, we want to deploy over here, because in theory, this is the reinforcements should be coming in from over there. So let's deploy the marines. Because the infantry, or well, the, the troops ahead of us are bowmen. I'm really not bothered about bowmen. So let's take a few more infantry. They will... Actually, that's too many. That's the edge of the map. Two will do. Fusiliers. So make sure you guys are grouped up. You guys are grouped. You guys are grouped. Good. That means you have quite a good chunk for reserves. Same with our cavalry. Just deploy them all out here for now. Actually, what I may do is swap out this Fusilier unit for a line infantry unit. Group my Fusiliers together because we are we are facing off against a heavy cavalry force. Deploy my stakes. You men will probably deploy like this. Yeah, they're coming in all the way up here. Oh yes, and my general. Anything to allow us a bit of extra breathing space when a whole bunch of cavalry comes storming in good no fancy shots no fancy nothing because right now we're just engaging the bowmen as is waiting for the enemy reinforcements to come in Get out of the way, Fusiliers! Well, let's start blasting a shrapnel shot. Just because shrapnel shot's pretty slick. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> But yeah, really I just want to get draw all the cavalry out from their reinforcements. Once I start getting within range of my actual infantry. Good hits. So this might be a bad example for shrapnel shocks. It might just go over the head and detonate. That's pretty good. That did the trick. There you go. Here comes the volleys of musketry. Boom, boom. Boom. <laughs> 
you know, we killed the, the bowman, that's the, we killed the bow unit, we didn't kill the general general, that's he's over here. Okay, let's speed up. I oh, don't know, I still have. Come on, Marine. These are old Marines, and I still think they look pretty neat. Then my Marines will take care of them. He may get a volley off. Maybe. No. Back you go. Elephant Musketeers, Royal Indian Cavalry Guards, Sipahi, Native Lancers, yeah. Switch to round shot. Begin engaging the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards from range. Same with all my artillery, really. Just focus on their mounted elements. They are going to fire a volley. Engaging my marines. We're just out of range. These marines. Oh, they've wheeled off. As they get closer, oh, the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards are routing. Get into position, Dragoons. You've got a, a, a unit of heavy Lance Cavalry coming in. Come on, Dragoons. Molly! Yep, they've got shattered. Excellent. Reload. Here come the native Lancers. Diamond formation, but there are the stakes. They may make it without as many as few casualties as I would like them to have got. You men hit the Kizilbashi. Same with you. How it's his bombard the native lancers coming in. More Kizilbashi, more native lancers. Straight into the stakes. I'm going to push you guys up a bit. Although, no, not too far actually. That will expose you. Actually, blast them. Oh, well, they're routing as well now. Square preemptively. Lancers are dipped. Shrapnel shot coming in. Oh, good hit. So you get a volley into the backs of those native lancers. Bishy Cavalry pushing in. Yeah, but the stakes are really hampering your mobility. Make 
pretty. How its supplier is also coming in. Oh, this is glorious. Okay, so now they're up, they're on to using their oh great guns. Heavy horse guard artillery cannot counter a battery. You will deal with the deal with the damage for now. Okay, I might speed up time, just because I want to bring the more of the enemy infantry force onto the field. So enemy, all of you fire round shot, fire at will. Who's in range? You are in range of the great guns. Excellent. But yeah, speed up time, just to bring more of the enemy army onto the field. Large mortars. Keep engaging them with round shot. We destroy one of the great guns with 24 pounder fire. Yeah, it looks like the enemy cavalry force is largely destroyed. Musketeers, Islamic swordsmen, and the levy comes in. Is there another one? Yep, yeah, they're still coming. Okay. Advance. I'm gonna try and charge my regiment of dragoons. Marines are going to spring up and put volleys into them. Oh, you're down to one gun, one incredibly well manned gun. I may as well let my Chevalier engage the enemy themselves because they may actually reload and get another volley into the levy before they get into position. Yep. Dervishes, Dervishes and Kizilbashi. Come on, Marines, make ready or reload. Dervishes are coming. Oh, no, they're not. Don't worry, swordsman, this is what the cavalry is for. Still bringing in dervishes. Limbering up the great gun, which is pretty good news for us. Light cavalry cease fire. Let's let my heavy cavalry get in. Surprise! Bad times for you guys. Right, come back. My mortars all focus on their large mortars. My howitzers focus on the large mortars. Okay, let's scoot this forward a little bit. No, no, I say. A levy unit charging in. Charging into the musket smoke. Oh, they got fired upon on the 13th. Okay, now 
kind of speeds up a bit. So the artillery, you know, the folks fired on their mortars, and that's the end of them. More levy charging in. Right, but they couldn't make it to our lines either. Is that more artillery coming in? Okay, cool. Their enemy... The enemy has ran out of things to push in. I think you must have destroyed their great gun. Oh no, or is it hiding? I think I can hear it. All my artillery folks on the Kizabashi Musketeers at range. Ah, there it is. of slaughter. So all my artillery focusing on the musketeers. Try and blow some holes with them in them with quick lime. If they break, then the 16 horse guards can take them out. Can friendly fire just clip the, the edge of my cavalry formation? New men mop up the great gun. Artillery cease fire. Definitely want to chase down the great gun and kill it if we can, which we have. Kizobashi came back, but they're against heavy cavalry. Bit a bit of a gamble there, actually, because I might have lost my general, who's very experienced. Dervishes are destroyed. All on to this Kizobashi unit. We need to be very crafty how we handle this because we we're going to need to bash through many large armies of Indian troops. This is definitely not the last we'll see of them. 111 men and they lost 3,000 odd. It's pretty tasty. So then you advance up to the fortress. You push up to the north. You push down to this bridge. You reinforce the center. You reinforce the north. Good, all of our agents. Our priest is still. I mean, you got you bumped into someone. That's okay. Can Mr. Farber leave Kabul? He can. Good. He will also reinforce the center. We're going to build a craft workshop and we're going to build a church school. Okay, we've got our ship in position. Everyone's ready. Okay, let's go to the west coast. Yep, you're recruiting. Let's recruit. More ships.
I mean, this agent can probably go to Portsmouth as well, because they will be shipped over to India. We've got an army marching over to Brest. We've got you guys that are... You're, you're recruiting. Oh, no, you're not recruiting. I might just sit them in Munich, just to make the recruitment a bit more manageable. Let's get a rocket artillery unit. I'm not sure what the difference is between those two. Rocket artillery 12, three 24 pounders, two grenadier guard, two Lieb regiment. And let's get some regular line. You can recruit a general. Kaspar, Kaspar Maria Becker. So you're going to get Hoazolin, Cursier, backed up by improved rocket troop. 24 pounder guard horse artillery. Two 24 pounders. Two 24 pounder howitzers. And then let's get some skirmishers. I need to remember my horse grenadier guards, actually. They're quite easy. To, it's easy to forget about them. Get two Jaeger. Good. Then you're on the go. Uh, may as well get this agent up to Bismarck because he's so easy to transport. And the Americas, we've still got stuff going on, but again, Americas are that's for me. This is kind of of lesser importance, at least compared to India. But you're you're ready to deploy. You will be ready to deploy. We've got there's there's a large enemy presence up here. And this is why we need more, more uh, naval capacity. Because right now I've got the one large battle fleet. That's not enough to pin them down. So let's hit enter. If everyone continue moving, including all my priests. That's a lot of infantry moving up to Munich. Good stuff. So the, the port in Ceylon, I'm going to need that constantly churning out one-turn ships. 13 colonies are going to run around us, that's okay. They won't ever pose a threat to our two armies in Maine. They can go around and raid if they like. Uh-oh. Are they going to pick up an army? They are. Okay, what are they going to do with it? It's the important thing. That's not terrible. Right, they pulled back south of the river mostly. Quebec's going to Quebec. So they pulled well south of the river, east of the river. Percussion cap, good stuff. But I don't think we can recruit. I don't think that gets us. I mean, we've already had sharpshooters anyway, I believe, but we don't get. We don't get riflemen exactly. Construction report. Global Trade Company. Okay, upgrade. Mines, Army Staff College in Moscow. We've got lots of fleets arriving. That's our follow up reinforcement. Ernst Mack, can you leave now? Minus six, not yet. Great arsenal up to a gunnery school. Ordnance board upgraded to an engineer school. Okay, just a lot of industry upgrades in Spanish region. Something like that. Lots of steam powered cloth mills, global trading companies, governors' palaces. Lots of good top tier buildings. Windward Islands upgrade you to a steam powered sugar mill. 
upgrade the military here in Ceylon. Because what I would like to do... Start churning out sick rates here because... Da -da -da. Let's land east of Calcutta in force. We have four stacks of troops. Because I could land in the south, but in my mind I want to attack Calcutta and drive eastward. If the south becomes vulnerable in due course, then we will deploy from there as well. Excellent. That's a large amount of firepower. So you men raid the dry dock. Raid the dock, deploy the agent, then give these ships orders to well, when they have movement push back along and raid ports along the homeland. Well, the new, the, our new homeland. Let's get two company cavalry, colonial light, colonial dragoons. Three 12 pound of foot artillery pieces, two 12 pound of howitzers. And let's recruit some sepoys and company infantry because that will be interesting. You may not hold Colombo. Good, so that's these three fleet has arrived markers. Some good recruitment. So you men can bolster the army that's being recruited in Portsmouth. You're still recruiting. Lots of successful missions. Okay, you men have secured this crossing. You men are going to hit Ram Abdullah off of his crossing. We've got an army here. It's not, it's not the end of the world. You can go west to cut them off. You men go along the river road, along the coast road. You men back up. We'll go here to, cover, to control the crossing between the mountains. You men hold. Okay. Priests are continuing on their merry way. First order of business. Friedrich Faber. Hit Ram Abdullah. Let's knock him off his perch. Plenty of Gurkhas here. We're going to fight a river battle. I'm going to attempt to cross, but it very much depends on how things are looking. I'm going to try cross the board in force. Use my foot artillery to destroy their foot artillery. Use my quick climbing howitzers to destroy their Gurkha force. I think that'd be pretty slick. Oh no, okay, they might be this side of the river. So... Okay, let's get my heavy artillery. Okay, deploy you guys. Deploy three separate units of infantry so I can spread out my foot artillery between them. My howitzers will likely need to be engaging right off the bat. Put a unit of melee infantry behind each set of artillery. Got some good cavalry spread. Put some militia on the right flank. Unsure where to deploy my skirmish troops. I want to see where the right. Okay, the left flank. Push up hard. The enemy are over the river, but not in force. You men are 
to keep hitting the Gurkhas, but that's a very worthwhile objective, although you are now going to get dangerously close. Okay, you may start bombarding the next... The next position. Where's my skirmishers? My Jaeger may go up opposite the river and skirmish the guns. My Grenadier Guards may threaten a crossing at the other side. On the other side. Bell Powder Howitz is probably limber up. Okay, there we go. We're suppressing the dervishes. We have been engaged. Heavy horse guard artillery is on the hill. They'll start to bombard the enemy guns. May actually bring you guys over here with the Grenadier Guards. Howitzers advance and redeploy. 32 pounder heavy horse. Howitzers, you're going to do the same as well. Push my hussars out, ready to engage the dervishes, but my Hohenzollern... Well, these are Hadi are just being annihilated. Come on. They are engaging enemy guns. Curassier are going to clear the way over the bridge first. Oh, shrapnel shot. Okay, we are impacting the guns, but not as much as we would like. you guys out of range. Hoggle light infantry behaviour, push right up to the crossing. There you go, you men are going to go after the camel nomads. Bring over the infantry. Okay, my gunners are engaging the enemy centre. Jaeger are getting in position, but now they're going to start to open fire on the enemy gun crews. It appears they are going to try and conduct a crossing. Skirmish of fire should be enough to clear the way from the enemy the enemy guns. The enemy camel nomads should fall to my cuirassier and then suddenly we've got an enemy threat on this flank as well. Yeah, they're losing gun crews. It looks like they might have actually ceased firing for the most part. You make ready to hold the crossing. Excellent. Heavy cavalry has one out here. Push my enemy cavalry on, because you've got an enemy bow unit. And the cavalry particularly like enemy bows. So these three men that have crossed can push the flank. Enemy, oh, you men fire at will as well. The lifeguard Trabatan. Because enemy Gurkhas are making their way across. Unlimber the howitzers. Again, because I've got, because the rain is on, my audio is a bit pernickety. Get my 
cavalry up. Ooh, form square for the enemy. Elephants. No cuissier. Avoid mistakes. Grenadier Guards have made it past the uh, defences. Well, they've made it past the elephants. Although I'm likely to want to start dropping Danger Close Quicklime ahead of my line because my hold is quite weak. Here comes Quicklime. Not good shots. Oh, good shots. Excellent shots. So much slaughter here. Bring my general over here rapidly. Okay, you push the bowman. You stay here. May have to use my heavy horse guard artillery to attack the general's bodyguard because elephants are quite tricky to deal with once they're in combat. You men face off against the enemy. Redeploy my skirmishes. Some of the levy have got into combat. Bring in my Hohenzollern. Redeploy my quicklime to be slightly more effective. Horns on. Cleared out one unit of levy. Ooh, seek musketeers. No, no, no. Quick climb inbound. Okay, there goes the enemy. General's bodyguard. Get my artillery. Oh, that's a good quick climb hit we just missed. E-man line up against the Kizobashi, Hohenzoll and Plank. No, you're not even... Sh I haven't even got a fire at will turned on for you. Make ready, and fire to the flank of the Kizobashi. Withdraw my Curacia. Form up the 80th Regiment again. Get my artillery fire. Focus on specific units now. Large enemy withdrawal, but I'll take that. They will have relinquished a preferential position on the on the river. Charge my general's bodyguard into the not my general's bodyguard, my cuirassier into the Kizobashi. You men. Advance. See, look at that. They just suicide guys straight into the barricades. Like, no. Chase them down. God, they're gluttons for punishment. They're coming back again. But, but look at this perfect little cauldron. Including all of the casualties in the, in the water. Excellent. Excellent shots here from the artillery. See, the problem is if these guys are light infantry behaviour, they will keep shooting even when enemies are no longer in rich. They will just keep firing. Let's get my artillery. My foot artillery to keep engaging the enemy general or enemy elephants. Come the enemy, here come the enemy Gurkhas. General's bodyguard is wavering. Oh. That's right, Ram Abdullah. You're out of here. Although you are not leading by example. Okay, let's form up a bit tighter. Got 
Yoke is coming in, so you may need to bow face and reload. You men need to start crossing. Yeah, they're aware of the... They're aware of the cross. Running through the bodies of the enemy dead. Switched to round shot with my howitzers just to prevent any mistakes. Oh no, looks like they have routed. Nice. We are going to continue. Cease fire the artillery. My heavy cavalry are going to go for Ramabulla. My light cavalry and my general are going to go after some of these infantry units. Come on, General. Go after these Gurkhas. I'm not so bothered about the... the levy units, but destroying Gurkha units wherever possible is ideal. Decisive victory! Excellent, so we've pushed him off of the river. We've secured that bridge crossing for ourselves. It's quite a good outcome. Open. Fall out. Well, actually, you guys can hop off the bridge. Eor Goodman, you get to hold the bridge in the face of enemy attack. Excellent. You can auto clear those small bowman units off of this section excellent excellent so down here there's a bit of an enemy concentration but i want to destroy this force under kazi kazi jang first before pushing on towards Nerun. As viable and valuable as that is, I think that's the right decision. Friedrich Faber, attacking general. He's gaining some experience, but he is not yet the most experienced general here. Those honours go to Georg Guthmann and Gottlieb Weingart. Although a true general of the army is Eugene Heinemann. He's been with us for a very long time. Excellent. Right. Corporal in gold braid. Corporal in gold braid. Oh, that's for this auto resolve. Okie dokie. Let's hit enter. Let's see how the Mughals respond to our landing in Calcutta. And here come the priests. We're needing some good spiritual guidance. Yeah, they can raid farm. They can do what they like, to be honest, 13 colonies. They're not going to push us off of Maine. They're pushing us out of their ports, which is the reasonable reaction. They're going to pick up another army. Oh, they can't make up their mind, but yeah, we need more warships in India. I should probably scour my European fleets to find suitable forces. Oh, let them pass. Quebec, go on Quebec. Right. So... Pick up whatever upgrades that we happen to see. And I know we've got a mine in here. Yeah, there it is. Natural causes. Ernst Merck. No! Are you sure it was natural causes? Either way, 
Let's, let's get a Dragoon General. Sigismund Baum. Minus three. Close. Very close. Sigmund Schmick. Schmick. Lud. And August Fromm. Faith reaffirmed. Good. Raiding in Nova Scotia. Again, these are just going to be just fairly standard armies. Yes, I can see all of the ship notifications. Military tech. Top gallant. Good stuff. I should really keep... Keep on with these construction report thingies, because eventually they will run out of... We'll run out of things that need to keep being built. So we aren't capturing territories fast enough. Excellent. Uh, well, right, right down the bottom. Lisbon, Lisbon, Gibraltar. Ingria, we've just done. Commercial basin at Port de Pay. Fleet arrives. Yeah, these are just more fifth rates. So first of all, let's get our existing transport ships to raid enemy ports. And it'll free up space. Okay, let's clear some room, actually. Yeah, it's got army, troops there, troops in but actually those. Ooh. Where's my big fleet? Quick and dirty, quick win, because they are embarked. Because they are embarked. Chomp. <laughs> so that's a stack of enemy troops gone. Because I'm feeling a bit naughty. Let's move this sixth ray up the coast. Free up facilities for repair. I know it might seem overkill to just keep dumping so many armies in one part of India, but I really do want... Well, I'm going to have overwhelming firepower, and it'll allow us to drive north and south. Just bolster some of these smaller fleets. Nice. Good, so that was all of you guys. Putin report on the English Channel. So once those are done and another batch of thirds are done, that's probably you full. You won't need that many You won't need that many battle fleets, really. The, the Mughals have they have strength, but it's still concentrated, if you like. Yeah, what I wanted was to get you guys replenished so that when we auto this fight, ah, oh, we lost units. Let's refill them with. So, what do we need? Cavalry. They got heavy cavalry. Interesting infantry is all we need. Get two Indian mercenary units. That'll mix things up. The one we are going to want to fight is this force here. So like before, if you come up north, you swing over here. Ah, they intercepted us. No worries. Uh, right. Let's take them on. 
lots of irregular units, so it should be quite rapid. They'll fall back east, and my plan is they go over towards Naroon. That would be my preference. The issue is they've got so many troops, and now the west coast is uncontested as far as the navy goes. They may be able to land more troops behind our lines. But the outcome, but the alter, but the impact of that though is that it just simply means our armies behind the lines are able to contribute to the destruction of enemy forces. So that's not terrible. And we're gonna have lots of lots of uh, we don't really need reserves. Not against such a weak army we can just form a form a long line advance and attempt to surround so let's put my grenadiers on the right and we have some awesome heavy horse artillery heavy horse howitzers Let them pick. Ultimately, there's so many targets here. They can't. They can't do anything but hit something useful. But now, let's start to pick their pick their. Uh, Cavalry, oh, they're infantry units. This is going how I want. I want them to push into me and I can wrap around this flank like so. That will be ideal. But they're mostly bowmen, desert warriors, a couple of Kizilbashi units, but not many. Not The general's bodyguard is being uh, engaged with musketry. General is... People have taken bullets for him. Oh, one more volley might be able to do it. Light horse better get running. Yeah, ultimately. Yeah, the, yeah, the bowmen, but bowmen on the left are a bit of a concern. Um, I think we're going to destroy. Okay, let's go for the general's bodyguard to the rear with our guns. You're going to break under our fire. Push neck horse, go for the bowman, kill the general's bodyguard with a prime aimed artillery shot from that battery over there, the 16th. Go on, guardsmen. Begin engaging. Push on into the Desert Warriors, although I'd rather my general keep engaging the bowmen. Down the flank, you know two man is attempting to avert disaster on this flank, but I don't see that happening. Friendly fire on the cav? Not quite so much. Switch to round shot. Yeah, their morale is broken so fast we've not been able to surround them the way we may like. I don't like that combat. Not really. Get my general over here to attack the bowmen. In 
engage. Gunners all keep firing at enemy units that are fleeing. Let's bring my general out of combat. Get the engineers over here, get the marines over here. Excellent, it's you to Bowman being chased away. Oh, we're being shot off of our horses, but then again it's also causing issues for the enemy. Yeah, they're all breaking and running. Everyone swarm. There's no strategy now. Zero strategy and just slaughter. The e men form a defensive line against this collection of routing troops. And you men do the same, but just over here. Desert Warriors winning. There you go, that should that's realigned itself now. Ceasefire all guns. Tricor also get involved on this in this combat. Finally, start wavering. Oh, now they're shaking again. There we go, more men in the combat. Broken. Push neck horse. Pursue and destroy. Yeah, we are going to continue. Only six Desert Warriors left. You've only got six men left, but there's, you should be able to knock out yours. If you pathfind even... Nope, you're going to get away. Nuts. Yeah, even that extra 16 troops should allow these guys to pathfind a bit more efficiently. Nice. So that's a whole lot of kills. But the army is not going to be defeated, but they are down to 2,300 men. And surely, sir. Excellent job, Franz Lauter. You have gained some significant experience. Push towards them. You might just auto-resolve the the remnants. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake, obviously. You can find, thankfully, you can catch what's left. Excellent, so you men all replenish. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You push along the coast. Yeah, look, they've got they've got a lot of troops in a lot of places. So I think by picking up here and focusing on it, we're doing exactly the sort of thing we need to do. What I'd like to do bring up all the firepower I can muster. So I think what we're probably going to want to do is attack the city destroy as much as possible as quickly as possible destroy more of their reserves but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for hopefully the capture of calcutta cheers everyone <laughs>